We're glad you're with us at 7 o'clock. I'm Andrea Finney. And I'm Lauren Miner. And it is Black Friday. A lot of people getting out for those deals early this morning. And I know Jordan Blind said, I'm kind of surprised to see this many people out, especially when it's this cold. Jordan, I need you to go inside Nike and see what they have because I was so impressed with their line. <laughs> what deal do they have today? <laughs> Nike definitely seems to be grabbing the most people here this morning. Those were actually the folks who were lined up here. We heard that the first person in line got here at 2 a.m. May I add that it is literally freezing outside right now, so you can tell dedicated folks here on this Black Friday and premium outlets right here in Monroe. And I want to bring in our friend Ann, because Ann, we always talk to you in the studio. You always kind of bring in, curate things from the outlets. Today, we are really kind of seeing it in all of its glory, right, on Black Friday. Talk to me just about kind of the, the prep of it all, because you were saying, like, no, this is the, the still quantity quantified busiest shopping day of the year period. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Our shoppers know that they are not going to get better deals anywhere else in the area. Yeah. So they come, they know they're going to get, you know, every day 25 to 65% off savings, but on Black Friday and holiday shopping time, they're going to get even better deals. Yes. And I know we were kind of talking also today about, I was surprised at the turnout, right? Because it, at 6 a.m., you heard people cheering when they were opening up the doors here. Does it surprise you year after year that this tradition is still alive, you know, in, in the days where online shopping is king? Uh, it, it, I wouldn't say it necessarily surprises us. You know, we obviously know that our shoppers are coming here. They're not going to get better deals anywhere else. Um, but I think that touch, try, buy um, mantra kind of is is still really big with our shoppers. So yeah. brick and mortar retail is going to continue to thrive because of that. Um, yeah. And, you know, you don't have to, you come out and shop here, you don't have to worry about shipping delays or paying for shipping right. and things like that. You've got your gifts in your hands, yeah. ready to wrap. Maybe yeah. they're even gift wrap for you in the stores. Some of yeah. our stores do offer that. So, you know, you're going to be able to take those gifts home and you're going to be good to go. Perfect. And thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out with us on this very cold morning out here. But again, it shows the dedication for folks. We are still in front of the Nike store because as I mentioned, uh, that seems to be really the hub of excitement and activity and deals this morning. As for a particular deal, there's not just one thing. I believe, I uh, trust me, I've been doing some research this morning trying to find the answer, but I think it's just kind of a branding thing, a trending thing too uh, for the Nike store. But these outlets, they're going to uh, stay open until nine o'clock tonight, then open back up tomorrow morning as well. So yeah, it is already busy. I did not expect it. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be kind of tepid a bit, but yeah, no big crowds for this big Black Friday up here in Monroe. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.